I guess putting liberal lawmakers aside for a second, because we know that they always want to raise our taxes to, quote, increase the revenue. Right. How, how do we fix this without jacking up everybody's uh, taxes? Well, um, you're going to have to cut benefits or, you know, there's this perception that the Social Security Trust Fund has been robbed from. Actually, what's happened is the federal government, because it needs more money um, for all these other big programs, they've borrowed from the trust fund and they pay it back. But one could legitimately complain that they've been borrowing it at ridiculously low rates. I mean, this is where the Federal Reserve comes into play. They've kept the interest rates, because we're running so much debt in the federal government, they've kept the interest rates artificially low. So the money that's been paid back to the Social Security Trust Fund has been artificially low. There's another diversion that's happened in the past. Hopefully it won't happen again. And that's where they take the retirement portion of Social Security that's supposed to go to the retirement portion, and they divert it to the disability portion because the disability, Social Security disability, was about to go insolvent just a couple years ago. And they said, oh, well, let's just divert some of the money that goes into the retirement income. And that's a problem, and hopefully that doesn't happen again. Right, so I, I guess what, what's a fair way to cut benefits? Because that, of course, is the liberal, liberal argument. Oh, Republicans want yeah. to cut benefits. They don't want people you know, to get their own money back. They don't want to take care of uh, people who have right. paid into this program. How do we cut benefits in a way that's fair, that gives people what they need, and uh, I guess uh, is satisfactory to both sides of the aisle in a way that could practically get this passed? Well, this is an interesting question, and the answer is different depending on whether you're talking about Social Security or Medicare, which is also going to go insolvent as well. If you, uh, you, could just, you could raise the retirement age, okay, and that helps in Social Security, but it doesn't help that much in Medicare because most of the money that's paid out in Medicare benefits happens in the later years of life, and when you're in your late 60s, you're relatively still healthy. Most people are. So you can't solve the Medicare problem by raising the age, although it does work a little bit on Social Security. That's what they did in 1983. Um, also, Social Security is a bit progressive. There's some socialism in Social Security. The people who make more money in their lifetimes will get less of a percentage out in Social Security. Some of that money has been redistributed to the people who were lower income. You could tra change that distribution curve just a little bit and you could make it more progressive. In other words, you could soak the rich, so to speak, and make them pay more in. Uh, and then give them less out, which is what Social Security already does to some degree. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.